Hi, this is Darman. Welcome to another Minecraft Let's Play video. In this video series, I'm showing you how to build Stampy's lovely world. And right now, it's not looking quite as lovely as it will in the future. Um, but it will. It will. Trust me. Trust me. We've gotten this far, people. We've gotten this far. We started with nothing. And, you know, look at this. Look at we've built here. We've got Stampy's house and... You know, if we kind of, if I kind of move the, the camera in a little bit, you can sort of not see all the mess down there. And it's like, oh, look, it's, it's Stampy's lovely world. I mean, we built this terrain from scratch. This, this wasn't here before. There was nothing here. This was just a bunch of junk. And anyway, so let's continue on with our beautification of this ordinary landscape into the mighty Stampy's lovely world. So we're going to, today we're going to build the, the milk bar and uh, it's a nice, easy build. So let's get to it. Uh, so in, uh, in the video, when we built this, uh, we established that this right here, this is the 29th block counting from from this corner, from this inside corner here, right here from this block. Uh, so we want to put the entrance to the milk bar uh, on the 48th and 49th blocks. It's a two block wide thing. Now basically what's going to happen is we're going to end up with two blocks of grass in between the building. That's, that's what we want to have happen. So uh, let's see, uh, let's start with 29. I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm going to point to the grass because it's, it's a little easier to see. Uh, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay, so uh, I just need to complete the pattern with the spruce and the uh, birch uh, planks here. Uh, so you just need one, you know, the path is only one, one block long. So that's it. That's all, that's all you need there. Uh, so I should have nine blocks here, one to, to the right of this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Okay, so now we know that's lined up uh, with that stand, and it's going to have just two blocks with it. So uh, now, unfortunately, this is going to be built with, well, not unfortunately, but it is built with spruce logs. Uh, and anytime, of course, now that we build with logs, it becomes a problem making sure that they're oriented uh, correctly. So what we're going to do is, hmm, how do I want to do this? Well, you know what? Let's build, let's build the structure with the logs, kind of like how we did it with the, um, Stampy's hot buns. We'll build all logs and then we'll punch out the stuff, uh, that we need to change over to the uh, stone and to the, to the wool and everything. So, uh, this entrance is, uh, there's going to be doors here, but it's going to be, um, you know, on each side, there's going to be, uh, you know, spruce logs. Uh, so we're going to make this uh, four high. One, two, three, four. So this is the doorway. So we'll just punch those out there. And uh, we'll, we'll work on that floor in just a little bit. But uh, so we're going to leave that there. And then actually these two are going to get punched out as well and filled with uh, stone bricks. And I don't have any doors on me. I oh, will put them in later. Uh, so let's stick to stick to the spruce here. So um, let's see. Well, what you know, I feel like I'm going back on what I just said, but uh, let's just do on the side of these. This is the entrance way uh, that kind of sticks out. So this should be uh, there should be two blocks of <laughs> of stone wide, and then three high just to you know, one, one block away from that. So now that that's on there, now we can actually put, uh, our oak on top of oak. Why do we keep calling it oak? It's spruce. Such an exciting name. So we're going to do the same on this side, three high and put that on there. And, um, there it is. <laughs> there's, there's almost, there's almost our entrance done completely. Uh, we're just going to put some stone stairs on here. And on each side, I guess we could do it this way. We'll just do it like on each side and then we can fill in this front here and put the other stone stairs right on top of there and on top of here. Now inside here, um, well, we should fill this in here like this. And then here goes... Just gonna fill this up with um, bricks, blocks like that, and uh, and under here we're just gonna put a set of stone stairs upside down, like that, and then just leave that leave that block alone like that. Okay, so there we go. There's the whole thing. And thanks. This is Darman sixty eight. Thanks for coming. No, I'm just kidding. I did that. One. <laughs> 
I pulled that gag once before. Not that funny. Okay, so now let's, let's get on to building uh, the, the the whole thing proper. Now we're just going to uh, hmm, let's see what's the easiest way. I guess I'll just um, I'm just going to make the whole outline first um, using the uh, Sparrows uh, logs, and the whole structure is going to be 16 wide by 11 deep, and uh, the the walls are going to be seven high on the outside with uh, with the roof on top of that, of course. So let's get going here. All right, so this is going to be a 16 wide. So from this, uh, let's see, how are we going to do this? From uh, let's say from from here, we're going to skip this block right here. Actually, you know what we should do before I do anything? Let's add one more column of um, stone bricks here. I keep blanking on the name of stone bricks, uh, and that is going to stay right there. That's going to be the inside corner. Uh, of the wall here and this is going to uh, come out here this is going to be six one two three four five six which there you go that's our that's what we want there we want two two of them right there so and this whole thing is 11 wide so let's see it's two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and we're just going to make this meet up and yes I, I realize we're going to have to get rid of some of these uh, blocks here but that's okay well it's just easier to kind of build it all this way uh first uh let's see this one one two three four five six on this side and then this should all meet up nice somewhere over here okay so let's just double check that one two three four five six one two three four five six and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven perfect okay so what i'm going to do is just going to build this wall i'm just going to since this is since these are blocks of logs, it's really hard to keep them oriented now. So I'm just gonna build the wall straight up, like like I said, like we were gonna do with the um, like we did with the uh, hot, Stampy's hot buns. And so we're just gonna build them up seven high, and then we'll punch out all the little bits that we need to punch out. It'll just be a little easier that way. You can do it however you want. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I need one more. Oh, I thought I had that. I thought I had that high enough. Okay, so uh, I'll just go around and um, bring this up to a total of seven high, and I'll meet up with you when I'm done. Okay, so when you were when you did this part over here, you probably were having some trouble getting these oriented here. But um, you know, if you ended if you ended up kind of having them look more like this or that or whatever, you know, you just like our other technique just put something underneath of it any block will do and then just point in the correct direction and then when you place the blocks they should work out nicely okay so uh, yeah and you can bring this straight across here um, and that will uh, there's gonna be a row of uh, spruce logs right across there so let's go back to the outside I think it's easier to kind of work from this way uh, so let's ready our brick stone bricks here and we're gonna punch out uh, an area that's gonna be Four wide and three high. One, two, three, four. And it's just going to be centered between these two posts. So you're just going to leave that one there, leave that one there. Uh, so now we're going to fill this row is going to be stone. The above row is going to be stone bricks. And between, uh, well, let's see. Actually, on this row, we won't have stone bricks on each end. And then this window is just two uh, window panes wide. And these are panes, not blocks. And, um, same thing over here. Uh, punch out this area. One, two, three, four, and three high. Putting stone stone bricks on the top, stone bricks on the bottom, and then just make a little window uh, to glass panes wide, just like that. Okay, so there we go. There's that lower floor done. Uh, let's see now up here. It becomes a pattern of uh, square white wool blocks. Uh, it's two by two blocks and basically you're just going to follow this same pattern. You know, you're starting with kind of the edge, like kind of, kind of as if there's like a kind of a log cabin, you know, and you'll leave that one there and then just punch out four blocks so that the top has one row and then the side has one row like that. Uh, and then we're just going to continue the pattern, leaving one row in between each, um, each one here. And, uh, yeah, you probably have to do that one from the inside. Let's, let's just do this side first. Three, four, leave one and that one there. Oh, whoa. 
Okay. Yeah, let's do that one from inside here. Now we can see this. So basically just continue the pattern uh, from the inside. And which should leave these little two white squares kind of peeping out uh, like that above the roof, which is good. That's perfectly exactly right. And uh, there should be torches right on the top right and left corners right here and right over here. All right, that's the uh, that's the front, the main part of the front there. Now the sides, uh, each of the two sides is identical, so I'm going to do one, uh, and then the other side will be exactly the same. So uh, what's going to happen is we're going to put this one, uh, again, leave, the, leave one column alone, and we're going to punch out uh, two wide and three high, and then we're going to skip one, and we're going to punch out three this time, same height, skip one, and then punch out two. And that's just the way the dimensions uh, sort of work out here. So uh, let's see. So this, this here, these two end ones are going to be filled in completely with uh, stone blocks. And the middle one is going to be three, uh, three window panes. And uh, oops, I need to finish that there. Uh, instead of two, like the front, it's just going to be three like that. So uh, just make sure you bring it all the way to the ground and get rid of that bottom row of uh, spruce wood there. And uh, up top, it, it mimics uh, this part down here. Uh, again, we're just leaving, you know, just kind of a little, uh, kind of a little rim of spruce around each. Uh, so that, this one's going to be the same width as the one below it, and as is that one. So this is two wide, this one's three wide, and that one is two wide, just like the things that are below it. And just fill that in with white wool. And then the other side that's opposite this is um, exactly the same. So that'll be a piece of cake. Now the back here, basically we're just going to keep following the, this pattern uh, where it's a two by two block of white wool. Uh, so starting on the back, we're just going to keep punching out um, the uh, holes here. Three, four. I'm trying to do this while I talk and I'm just... Okay, good. There we go. All right, so that's going to be so there's going to be five squares of white wool all the way across five areas, I guess. It's, it's more than five squares, uh, so you can fill that in. Uh, maybe I'll do it this way. You do it however you want. <laughs> Clearly, my way is not very good. Okay, and then right below that, we're just going to go the same. Oops. <laughs> mm, all right. Well, all right. I'll I'll fix that now. Don't need that. Uh, let's see, that's right above it. Uh, we're gonna bring it right to the ground, like we did uh, all the other pieces on the on the ground floor. Uh, so just uh, it's everything's gonna be the same width as what's above it. Just make sure you bring it all the way to the ground. So these are gonna be two wide and three high. Oh, I just did it again. Well, apparently it's good to have some uh, some grass on hand to uh, to do these. Uh, so these are all just going to be stone brick. Uh, let's see. Well, oh, wow, we've already got grass growing there. And these are all three high. I think I mentioned that three high. And yeah, we're almost done the outside. We just have to do this side. It's going to be like exactly like that other side, except we have a lot less room work because of this contraption behind us here. So let's see here. Um, I'm not going to dwell on what my dimensions are and such. This is exactly the same as we did before. So just uh, copy what you did on that side over to here. And I'm just going to kind of whiz through this side here, which will guarantee me to get it wrong. But um, that's okay. I, yeah, something something's already wrong. What's, what's going on here? <laughs> what is going on? Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, too, went a little too far on that one. That should only be too high, and that should be there. There we go. See? There we go. <laughs> yeah. Now now I can get rid of that. Whew, man. This is what I get for not having much space in between here. But hey, we didn't design it this way. This is this is Stampy's lovely world, not Darman 68's lovely world. Uh, let's see. That there. And put some window panes. Three wide there. And just going to fill the rest of this up here with white wool. <laughs> Thankfully, this is one of the structures that really hasn't gone under any kind of modification since he built it. Um, so if you do watch his videos to do it, it's 
it's it's all there and he does go through it on the 300 um video so now um you know what let's put the floor in first before i cover this up and um ruin any amount of light that we've uh, got going on here so the floor is going to be a mixture of uh birch and uh oak now there's going to be birch in these two oh hello water <laughs> apparently i've got some water below this you probably have something similar sometimes uh just going to take just follow the entrance it's two blocks wide and just go all the way to the back wall and uh that is going to be those two block wides that's block wides that's a terrible way to express that you know these two strips of area are all going to be um birch and um then it's going to alternate um these two are going to be oak these two are going to be birch these two are going to be oak so it just alternates between the birch uh, and the oak. So let's just get this floor all out of here. And, uh, gee, it's too bad I don't have anybody to play spontaneous spleef with. Uh, we could really have some fun here, but this won't take too long. And I guarantee I'm going to break something I don't want to, but okay, so far so good. And, uh, so, yeah, so this is one of the few floors that has a mixture of birch and oak. I think maybe one of the onlys, um, that I can think of. But he does like to get creative with his materials, and we appreciate that, Stampy. Uh, okay, so now that's all out of there, so we just need to fill this in. Um, we've got birch here, so we're going to do two rows of oak. And switch over to birch. Excuse me, birch! And put two rows of that. And the last row, two rows are going to be uh, oak right up against the wall. And it's going to be the same exact on the other side so let's put these in here and if you're if you've oriented your stampy's lovely world in the same way that he did um which i talked about in my building stampy's video building stampy's video now there'd be there'd be video building stampy's video maybe that'll be a good one uh oops something has gone wrong with my oops i see look i was talking and i put an extra row of Of, uh, of oak in there. Um, what was I saying? Something about building Stampy's lovely video, but oh, in the bedroom video, yeah, I mentioned that um, you know you got to face the house the right way to get the boards going in the right direction. So if you have, then uh, your boards will be going left to right, um, just as they are here. But it doesn't matter if they go the other way. You got to you know you got to make it work for your own world. So all right, so let's uh, let's put a roof on this sucker. Uh, I'm going to need some brick stairs, stone brick stairs. And we're going to start on the end. And it just starts off with a, um, it's going to be you know, basically two peaks here. You know what, maybe, the, maybe it would be wise to kind of start with the front. Um, we're going to leave this one alone. And we're going to put four blocks of, um, of stone brick stairs. And then put two uh, on top of that. And do the same on this side. Leave that first one, put four there and two on top and then uh duplicate that oh a little too close uh on the back the ceiling of this is going to be oak um, by the way we'll get to that in just a little bit okay so now this doesn't look like much right now but we're going to put stone stairs on here and it'll perk itself right up there all right so stone stairs are right across the top here and uh there's going to be a total of three each <laughs> Whoa, try that one more time. There we go. Each uh, peak is going to have three sets of stairs. This is the third one. And then we're going to turn around and just go step backwards back down. Uh, let's just put one stair here and here because this is where it kind of transitions um there's going to be stairs that are going to go here and up um so let's go let's just do this side first we're going to do the exact same thing we did over there and let's see here's the second row now underneath these little peaks is i guess it's a hollow spot and you can you can choose to do something with that if you want or fill it in if you're worried about googly spawning there uh or so forth but uh oh <laughs> jeez come on here we go come on 
There we go. And stairs here. Some of these roofs can be tricky. Uh, this this particular roof would not have worked um, had it been built before um, the update that came along that allowed you to well, what's the word you know to kind of connect stairs in corners that it couldn't before. Um, anyway, so let's uh, let's see. So we should have four empty uh, spots here in the front. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill these four in, and you can see immediately these two are boop, they're connecting up and they make this little nice right triangle here. And um, probably the best way to do this, you know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to, um, we're gonna have to put something down here to give this something. What's going on here? Why can't I place a block there? <laughs> what is going on here? Let me try that again. Put a stone stair here. Block right behind it. There we go. That was weird. Um, this is going to be... Oh, now, now look. Okay, all right. You know what? <laughs> we're gonna. I'm going to take these three out. You know what we're going to do? We're going to put the ceiling on here so we have something to work with here. Just grab the oak. It's just oak. And uh, it's going to get dark in here, isn't it? All right. Well, I went from doing the roof. I am so spastic with my directions. All right, so we went from doing the roof to stopping to do the roof. We're going to do the ceiling, but then we're not going to do the ceiling. We're going to put some torches around here. Basically, all the torches, uh, they go kind of like wherever there's a vertical post here. Uh, just put a torch, basically, is how it goes. <laughs> um, that's the easiest way to explain it. Uh, but don't worry about the back wall. These two, there's, you're not going to be able to put anything there uh, once we get the, the cowl milk part installed uh so okay so that's good that'll that'll help so now uh let's just take the oak and we're just going to put it right on this layer right here and yeah i'm just going to do this and i'm going to be right back to you as soon as i'm done okay there we go all right so now we've got something to work with here um let's see all right, good. So now we can do. Now we've got that. We can add these the the this next layer of stone stone stairs. Uh, now I'm going to put them down here. Whoops! I'll put them down here, and you're, you're seeing nothing happening over here. But what we have to do is just sort of take out this one, put it back, or and then we have to. Oh yeah, okay. We're going to put it sideways. So we're going to have to take out this one and then put put one in facing the other direction. You know, as if it's the you know kind of going along this way. Uh, so then that's it for that. Then we have to well, we're gonna fill this all the way across with flat uh, stone bricks. But for now, we're gonna leave that for just a second. We're gonna finish this side, do the same thing. You know, put these in here and then remove that one block and put a stair in like that, and then help connect it up like this. Now these stairs actually we can actually probably shouldn't even bother, but we can get rid of those in between and then just fill this in with straight um, blocks of uh, stone and stone bricks that is and that'll do it that's that's the roof it's pretty pretty straightforward I guess if you have any trouble with the stairs just experiment a little bit with it and there you go that's what it should look like alright okay so let's go inside and uh, work on that a bit more I uh, still haven't gotten my doors out yet but that's okay we'll, we'll get there okay so inside here we need to kind of make the milk bar here and some seating that goes around it uh, so let's see here <laughs> what will we do first you know what let's make the milk bar that's the biggest uh, headache here uh, so on this uh, if you're looking at the back wall the second vertical uh, post here this is, uh, we're going to be just to the right of that. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to be, sorry, the first post. It's the first post. This one, we're going to be just to the right of this one. Uh, we're going to come out four blocks. One, two, three, four. Uh, this is the counter, and this is going to go across all the way over to, uh, we're going to, the same thing, this, this last vertical post here, we're just going to bring it right next to that. Now, don't, don't put that one in. Uh, that's where the 
little entrance is going to go there. We're going to put a little hatch there. So there should be three uh, empty blocks on each side of this uh, right there, looking like looking just like that. Uh, so we're going to put the vertical posts in here and just bring them straight up from the corners until they touch the ceiling. Uh, do that on both sides, and we can make the little crazy cow face. So we've got to have the crazy cow face. Uh, now we should have torches at the top of these. That'll help kind of light things from the video as well. Um, let's see. Do I want to switch to the wool yet? No, I don't. Yeah, okay. All right, let's do it. Let's just blow out my inventory here. Grab some wool. We need some white. We need some, whoops. We need some brown. We need some light gray and black. All right, so the top, let's just start from the top. Uh, grab your light white, light way, light gray wool, and on each side make two uh, blocks of light gray. Uh, in between that, you can put brown. Uh, the next is the, the eyeballs, and then this one it's going to be black, then white. Is that white? No, that's white. There we go. Then brown, brown, white, white. Next row. Let's go left to right again. That worked out good. Uh, these are both going to be white, brown, one white. Oops. <laughs> I keep doing that. One white, and then this one's going to be black. And that's the two eyeballs. And then we just need two rows, or actually one row, excuse me, one row of uh, a brown below that. And there you go. And that should leave uh, two blocks here um, to serve as your milk bar. Okay, so on the sides, let's see. Let's go from the top. Uh, we're on the right side of the milk bar, so the right side uh, we're going to put uh, across the top. First we're going to put three blocks of brown, and the next row is going to be white, white, brown. The next one's going to be brown, white, brown, and then it's just a, a row of brown beneath that. There we go. And on the left side we want to put Let's see, left to right, we're going to do brown and then two whites. Oops. And we're going to put another brown, brown, white, and we're going to put a whole row of brown. And then we want to put two whites and then a brown. There we go. All right, so that's the... Uh, there's that top part there. Now we're going to need a to build a, a, a platform for the cow up here. So let's just take some um, let's take some birch and uh, uses this, fills it in with oak. Uh, we're going to also need some fence gate and uh, let's grab a couple of torches and we're also going to need a cow. <laughs> let's see cows. I think it's this one. All right, I guessed right. Uh, so, under here, we're just going to take our birch, uh, build just a two block wide ceiling. We want to leave this open. This is where the fence gates are going to go, and the cow's going to walk around on top of this. Uh, this all needs to be filled in with, he, he said he used uh, oak uh, in the video, so that's, that is what we're going to use. Um, but I'm going to leave a couple of blocks open, and I'll explain why in just a minute. Uh, it has to do with the fence gates. And getting a cow to spawn using a spawn egg up here. Because I'm going to actually spawn the cow here. Because I found that if I tried to spawn a cow directly onto the fence gates, that they just fell through and uh, ended up being down there. So, uh, But we can't put the fence gates down without putting something down beneath it. So I want to use something that sort of stands out. And I usually use diamond, but this week I am using emerald. Uh, just so that I know that it is a material that is not supposed to be there. And, oh, great. Now I can't get up there. Um, okay. And we're going to need some torches. There's a, a couple of torches here. Oops. Not quite there. I think they're on the ends here like this. That'll help light up this area. And let's see. We're going to put that there. And um, what, we could, what we could do is, well, I was going to say we could spawn the cow first. But, you know, what? let's just put our fence gates down. And... Put a cow over here, and then we can sort of, um, you know, nudge him 
to uh, be elsewhere, and then that that should work. I don't want to I don't want to damage him, but oh, he's already doing the full front, the, the freak out. All right, excuse me, cow. Scoot over there, buddy. Yep, there we go. A little bit more, and all right. So now I can. If I can get down, come on, cow, get out of my way. Uh, there we go. Now I can get out, and you cannot, cow. Moo ha 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 ha. <laughs> and I really mean, I mean that. Moo ha 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 ha. That's the evil cow laugh. Moo ha ha ha. Oh boy, I'm getting weird. Um, okay, so there, we've got ourselves a cow up there, trapped. We've got a little light up there to, so that nothing else spawns up there. And, um, all right, so now we've got this back counter with the, with the back bar, as Sampy calls it, because he used to be a bartender uh, before he became a big-time YouTuber. Uh, so we need some materials to build this bar with. Um, well, actually, we're going to need a little birch. We're going to need some, let's see, a little chest, crafting table, brewing stand. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, oh, we're going to need to make a pseudo refrigerator so we're going to get two iron iron blocks and the iron door uh, let's see here okay so for can you get back here uh first there's going to be refrigerator which we know if we want to be able to build a fridge we have to be the fridge we have to be the fridge put the door down you can't you can't put it down on the block you're standing on you got to put it on the block that's right in front of you and there you go that'll just that and then we're going to just put the uh, two iron blocks below. There's no dispenser on this. Uh, he noted in the video that uh, since all the fresh uh, milk is going to come from up there, there's no need to really refrigerate anything. Uh, so here we just need three blocks of of uh, almost said spruce of a uh, birch, and then there's going to be a chest there, brewing stand there. Uh, let's see what goes on this one. Oh, I need some, um, need a little bookcase. He likes to think of these as like little bottle cases. It looks like, looks like bottles to him. Uh, and over here is going to be a little crafting table. And I guess we need to get the hatch, trap door, whatever you want to call it here. And there we go. So that's, that's that. Now there should be a couple of more torches, uh, on the inside here. And they go, uh, down below here, just on the far left and right. Oops. And then up here, underneath, yeah, right up here, underneath these, uh, it helps light that up and keep the googlies away. So that's it. That's the back bar area and the milk part up here complete. Now all we have to do is put some furnishings around, a door and a sign, and uh, we're in good shape. So let's grab some, uh, let's see, these are all going to be birch stairs, the seats. Uh, so let's grab those. We're going to grab signs for the little doors, uh, you know, the little armrests. Uh, I'm still going to need some stone brick. Don't grab this overfish stuff. Um, now we're going to need some fence and tabletop is the pressure plate, stone pressure plate. Okay, so well, let's start on the left side. There's a little, little tiny table here. It's just three wide here, which is just wide enough to put a uh, table here. So we've got um, chairs there, add a table with a fence post with a Stone plate on top. You're used to this. If you've if you've if you've built this much in the video series, then you know how to build a stairs with a sign on the side and a fence with a stone pressure plate on top to make a little table. Because that's exactly what we're going to do here. So let's see. From here, uh, same thing. It's just going to be right in the window. Stone plate there. Now these are these. This is where it's a teeny bit different. Um, put the the seats right up against the wall here, and then the table is like two brick blocks for some reason, and then the other stairs are right here. Just leave one block in between. Uh, that this these stairs go right on there, and then uh, put the armrests on. <laughs> That's not. Oh, oh no, <laughs> no no. Oh, luckily I've still got my bricks there. All right, get you there, and let's get you in there. There we go. Uh, let's see, I need some signs on these. Stop doing that. Carefully destroy it. There we go. There we go. 
All right, so we can just make the other side look exactly like that, except that corner one, uh, we're going to put a jukebox there. So uh, so for this one, I'm just going to put these right in the corner. And the table is this kind of blockiness here. And chairs there. And put the endings on them. There we go. Okay, so we need one last set of table and chairs here. Oop. Here. And let's see, we need a jukebox, which is, I think it's under decorations. No? Under miscellaneous. Jukebox goes in the corner, and, um, wow, is that it? Do we really do it that fast? I don't know, let me check. Let's see here. One cow, check. And a back bar, check. Bar. Oh, yeah, no, we didn't. We're not, we're, we're not quite not quite there yet. We've got to put the stools in that go here and here. And uh, did I luck out? Well, actually, I kind of did luck out that there's something to put the uh, redstone to. Redstone alert. Redstone alert. Redstone alert. Man, I haven't heard the redstone alarm in forever, you know? Yeah, I just pull out these little redstones and boom, there it goes. All right, we don't want sticky seats. We're going to put regular seats down. Uh, so these should be... Right here, like if you're looking at the bar here, you know, don't count this one, but it's the second seat in here. So basically, you know, leave these two birch ones alone and then just go right to the first oak uh, in each one of these. So it looks like I've got a, uh, yeah, I've got a, a something below there. If you don't have something, just put something there so that you can put a uh, redstone torch right below it. And there you go. So we've got the bar seats. Regular seats, we've got torches all around. We've got the torches up there and so forth that we need. We've got, oh, okay, well, let's see. We need some front doors and some signs, I think, is the last things we need. So let's get to it. Um, doors, oh yeah, they're over here. Doors and signs. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab some torches too, because I think there's more that we have to put outside. So doors, boom, 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 boom. And uh, so the signs, the signs, the first one says crazy cow. And then the second one says milk bar. And they're both on the second lines. And it goes something like this. There's crazy cow. And then we just need to put this one here. That's on the, uh, that's on the second line. Let me just get a little closer. That's on the second line. And both are uh, capitalized. And this one's going to be milk bar. There we go. All right. Uh, I was looking at these torches like, what are these torches? These are actually not supposed to be there. Um, I think we put them in there so that we could measure easily, but we don't need them anymore because that's the last thing that goes on this side of the street. So we're just going to take them out of here. And let's take a look at this. Let's see if there's any more torches and see. So one's on the corner there. Should have ones up here. And around the back on the corners. Let's see, any other else? Nope, that's it. That's it. Uh, so, right here, you'll see we've got a couple of blocks left here. Uh, three in the case of this right here. Uh, if you were building this on Stampy's download seed, you, you probably found that it somewhere right around here. Um, the original terrain that was here is, you know, it would have, you would have been right on the edge of it, which you can see is probably why he, he built this out some. Uh, so that's uh, no problem there. We've got room because of the build that we did before this. And that's it. That's his, this is it. Oh, is this it, guys? Let me know what I missed here. I think I got everything. It seems good. It seems nice and crazy. Uh-huh, 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 uh -huh. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Oh, you know what? Last finishing touch. I almost forgot. Look at that. You stick around. Good for you. You stuck around to watch the whole video because here's the piece that everybody's going to say that I forgot, but I didn't actually forget it. Right here, we need to put a couple of bottles, three bottles specifically on the brewing stand, uh, to really make it look authentic, because what happens is, is it changes those into these red little things, which he has. Um, if you don't have them, they just, you know, they're empty like that. So there we go. That is actually just a little bit better uh, and a little bit more authentic. So I'm glad you stuck around for that, and, and you can... Uh, Shame everyone else for 
for not doing so also. So that's it. That's it. I'm Darwin68. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!